Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's my time for some Imperium Universalis as Macedon in our Macedonian campaign. Okay, so um, right now we're at peace. We're coring some stuff here in Thrace. We're going to coral that territory. We'll take a Ottomanti. We'll probably attack Moesi. When we can, we have quite a bit of aggressive expansion with uh, some of the world. At least the, well, you know, the Greek world is not bad, but we got to be careful because those guys are forming some coalitions and stuff. They're attacking some people. We should be cautious. <clears throat> um, we have made, we have made this guy here Malice. We've made him an autonomous vassal. So I actually figured out you can, you can make someone an autonomous vassal and then you could take away their autonomy, which is pretty cool. So we're going to try, once you take away all of their autonomy, you actually get to annex them. So we'll try and do that. We're only going to do that like one or two people at a time though. So now I can make him non-autonomous, right? Let's try it. County declared war on our tributary state Melosia. They cite tribal raid as their CB. So we will decrease the autonomy of the vassal and make him a non autonomous vassal. Non autonomous vassals can't have diplomatic relations with others. We'll pay more money to you, but I'm going to increase liberty desire. Okay. So we decrease his autonomy, but now in theory, we can annex him. When could we annex him? So we just got done with the. We have the truces with a lot of the Athenians. They're. they're or the Athenian vassals. The truce with, with Athens and his vassals is over. Are you shitting me? I can annex this guy now? Oh my god. That is fucking awesome. So as soon as you make people non-autonomous, you can annex them immediately, dude. That is crazy. Holy shit. That is just dope. Okay, Parmenian is still our good general, so wow, we're gonna take over Malus then. This annexation really should not take too long. Nice. This means now that we can invade. We could probably invade Thessaly then without too much trouble. Well, maybe I'll finish up with these guys first. Um, we still have insufficient support, so we should probably get rid of some of these cavalry. Hmm. Plenty of rebels to go around. We can upgrade our government rank? Sure. We're now a kingdom. We're not a petty kingdom anymore. We are now an actual kingdom. Okay, so Melos will be annexed. Okay. So that's that's cool. So that's what, that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to probably tributary. We will tributary just about anybody. Ooh, not the Messapians though, because what we have to battle the Romans then if that's gonna be the case. But we will tributary as many people as possible and we will take away the autonomy of our tributaries to make them able to be annexed. So like one of the first people I'd probably start on right now would be probably this guy, Empifiolus. Let's try and get him, let's take away his autonomy so we can annex him in the future. And then we will conquer Larissa, Thessaly, and all of that. We will conquer that traditionally. Through actual conquest. Because we do have cores and stuff over there anyway. And we have the free invasion CB. And a lot of our tributaries are giving us quite a bit of money. We get, we get a lot of money at the end of the year. <clears throat> Brachia, Tyrannus Polis. Hmm. Okay, so we've now annexed Melis. We've got way too many troops here, so we're going to get rid of the armed forces of Melis. Sorry, Melis. Bye bye. We have Separatist and Tillis. 
Okay, so this place is fortified. They've got they have two forts here. Now this is a state. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. None of my tributaries, at least from what I can see, have limited desire. Kaonia and Corinthos. Uh, actually, you know what? Taking over Kaonia would not be a bad idea. We actually have an extra diplomat now. Let's make you an autonomous vassal when possible. New siege weapons. We've developed new siege weapons. Cool. So let's make Empiphiolus and Kaonia non-autonomous vassals, if possible. Uh, these guys have a troubled government. This might be difficult. The way of Craterus. The years have passed and Craterus is now old enough for a proper education. He needs to learn about the military. Cool, Craterus Argead. Awesome. Kind of reminds me of, um... Reminds me of, um... Crusader Kings 2. Looks like we got some more ships. We're a little bit over the force limit, but that's okay. Epidoros is an autonomous vassal of Athena, and he wants our help and independence. I'm actually going to go into Klein. Primarily because I don't, I don't really want to commit troops down there on somebody else's terms. I'd rather commit troops on my own terms. So if I want to invade Thessaly or anything like that, it's going to be on my terms, not anybody else's. That's my reasoning. We get another idea group. We are ahead of military tech, so I think we will pick something military in nature. Cavalry ideas gives us cavalry combat ability, looting speed, land leader maneuver, cavalry cost, cavalry flanking ability, yearly prestige, cavalry to infantry ratio. That would be pretty strong, is the cavalry to infantry ratio. Quantity I don't think is necessary. Offensive is pretty good. Movement speed, prestige from land battles, throwing spears, land fire damage, land enforcement modifier, siege ability, discipline, shock damage, province war score cut. Ooh. Minus 25%. That's a big one. That's pretty huge. Defensive ideas gives us morale of armies. Damn. It's between cavalry and offensive. Dude, offensive is pretty strong. I'm going to go with offensive, I think, first. We'll get cavalry later. Offensive is pretty strong. I got a question to Twitch chat. Is Axum in this mod? I don't think the kingdom of Axum was alive in this time period. I think it was Blummies and Kush. If, if Axum is down here, they're way down there. I don't think they're here right now. No. I believe the kingdom of Axum was founded a little later than this. Um, I want to kill this guy. I'm going to kill this guy. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like Kaonia. We can't make him a... Um... We're, we're minus six reasons. Tribal government, their development. Yeah, he's got a lot of development. Okay, so we may have to wait for a bit. Hmm. What about Epiphiolus, though? Yeah, in Pythiolus, we can we can make it do a vassal. This land enforcement modifier plus 15%, that's gonna be pretty nice. I'm actually kind of excited for that. Let's go for. We're not really gonna be converting necessarily. Superior. Because I've actually considered we maybe don't need the superior religion, but maybe we do. Because we actually did just take over a lot of territory that is not of our religion. Discipline. The missionary strength would be pretty cool. We've got plenty of advisors, but we could, I don't know, Monarch points are kind of hard to come by in this, in this mod. Because I believe all technologies are actually not, in, in the original game, in the original Europa Universalis, a technology is 400 Monarch points, I believe, by default. But, here it's not. I think these are 600. Hmm. Yeah, this classical philosophy is taking some time. Shit! Parmenian has finally died! Parmenian- Whoa! What? What? Excuse me? <laughs> Holy shit! Look at this general! Look at this guy! How? What is this? This is- what is that? Nine pips? Nine fire pips? Six shock? Six maneuver? Three siege? Polypricon Dionysii? Because of 80, 83.9 army tradition? Oh my god. That is incredible. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Dude, that's fucking gnarly, man. Oh my god. Okay, let's go and kill these guys. Jesus. Dude, we're fucking OP, man. Oh man, that general's beautiful. Oh, interesting. Let's grab one more general. Oh my fuck. Five fire, nine shock, two maneuver, one siege on this general. This is Stratios. And then this general here is Polypricon Dionysii. Dude, Macedon, you're fucking OP, son. In the ass. OP in the ass. I'm serious. Wow. Dude. We could totally take on the Persians right now. Living shit. This actually, this guy actually has a decent amount of a ton, or, um, he's got a decent amount of development.
Let's see, I got, a, I got a question to Twitch chat. What is my largest city in my empire? Probably Paya, I think. Yeah, Paya most likely. Looks like it. Yep, Paya. Paya's the largest. Um, I think one of the largest realms here would probably be Athens. Athens is probably large. Um, anything in anything in Crete? And then I think over here, Babylon and Persepolis are some of the largest cities here. I think development has something to do with population, but I'm not sure. Good vintage. Sweet. Perhaps, I mean, I would like a vassal. I don't, I don't know about that one though. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do that. Why don't we vassalize this guy, Moesi, and why don't we convert him to our religion? Perhaps that'll be a good idea. Powerful militarists. Let's not destroy his army, because I, I do want him because this is the Danubian River, so I want him to fortify the Danubian River for me. We'll probably attack this guy, Tomoai. Anatolia just declared war on the on the Athenians. What we're gonna do is I think we're gonna probably give Tomoai, we're gonna give him to Moesi. And Moesi will be kind of our march over here. Tribali is already my march, sorta of, kinda of. he's a tributary, but you know. He'll he'll do fine. He'll do fine. While we take over Ampiphilus, we're gonna we're definitely gonna corner um Odamonte for sure. We'll take that over. And then Epiphilus, we can probably make Autonomous Vassal right now as soon as we're at peace. Because are you, little fucker? You're going to force religion, I'm going to make you Vassal. Um, you're going to give me some money. Yeah, they force Vassalized us. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that what that does? Holy shit! This- this Cassus Belie, this fucking invasion CB. There's a peace treaty. Taking over Ottomanti. Ottomanti. Macedonia will uh, annex all of Ottomanti and get a core on it. That's what this CB does. I don't need to actually force conquer this place. Are you shitting me, man? So I've been conquering territories and coring it by hand, but we don't need to do that. Oh my God, look at that. These are free cores, dude. You've got to be shitting me. Why the fuck did the game not tell me that before? Wow. So we could have taken all of Greece by now, bro, with the invasion cast us believe. Wow. Fuck you, game. Dick. <laughs> dude, that sucks, dude. We've been conquering everything by hand. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Fine. We now know 
what the problem we've encountered before. Now we know how to remedy it. Now let's go. Let's go on a fucking conquest spree, dude. Dude, that's what that CB does. That's a beast ass Cassus Belize, son. Are you kidding me, man? You gotta be shitting me. This game did not tell me that before. Fuck. Dick. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> really, dude? We could have literally... We could have taken over all of Greece if I'd known that. Shit. I really wish I would have known that. Fuck that. We're not going to give Moesi anything, dude. We're going to take this for ourselves. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. That's pretty annoying, dude. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So yeah, let's go and conquer all of Macedon. Yep. I mean, let's go and conquer all of the Balkans. Yeah. Is this guy... Oh, he is Greek. Okay. Dude, this guy's a shit ton of money. Did you see that? Wow, that guy has hella money. Why? Why does he have so much money? I don't know. God, I wish I would have known that. Dude, we took over all of Thrace. We courted all manually. I mean, it wasn't that much admin, but still, I would have I really would have wished I would have known that. Shit. Alright, we're gonna build some special structures in Paya. How's our army? Yeah, okay. Persia is eight thousand dollars in debt? What the f Screw you, Moesi. Get your ass out of here. Oh, we're gonna get a slave revolt in Tillis. Curious. Okay. <clears throat> wow, we can have eight diplomatic relations now. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and who's that? Agrionian separatists. Okay. Dude, we're making a lot of money now. Jesus. Oh yeah, we have a free merchant. Huh? Oh, I didn't see that. Apparently we can raise slave regiments. That's pretty cool. Um, we can establish the high priest position. Let's do that. That gives us the ability to convert some stuff, which is pretty cool. And Pythiolus, we want you to become... Well, we want to make you half autonomous. 
This may be an issue, though. Let's improve relations with you, make sure that goes smoothly. Yeah, okay, so Pifiolos and Moesi, those are the two guys that we want to annex, one possible. Make half autonomous. Well, what's he right now? Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Let's go and take out DeBerry's. And then we will invade, eventually we'll invade Thessaly. Because now that we have that invasion CB, now I know that, it, now I, that I know what that does. Dude, we can kick some ass. We can destroy some people, dude. Shit. Let's grab, um... Let's grab some troops over here. Uh, oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna conquer all of the Balkans. Anything that's not directly owned by me will need to be... A tributary. And then uh, we're going to probably declare one of the Persians or something. I don't know. We'll figure out something to do with all this money. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I got a question to Twitch chat. Does the map go all the way to Japan? Yes, it does. Japan is not on the map, but it goes over there. You know. Celtic, Iberian, Canaanite. Cool. Celtiberian, Cantabri, Galaci, Lusitani, Celtici, and then these are the Iberians. Trudetani, Trudetani group. Cool. Nice. Realm has established colonies in Iberia, looks like. Cool. How many more tributaries can I establish? Holy shit, I can establish quite a few, quite a few tributaries. But considering we have this invasion CB, I don't think we want any more tributaries. I think we want to just take people over. I think we want to just take people over from now on. <clears throat> and we want to force religion every time we take over somebody because that will automatically convert the province for us. See, it goes to Olympia Y, which is what we want to have happen. Okay, so with this military force, could we declare war in Thessaly? We could, probably. Thessy Lotus. Now, we'd be facing a pretty enormous force of the enemy. We can invade Larissa, we can invade Thessaly. We'll need plenty of troops, though. It'll be a difficult war. Then again, I mean, we do have Empithiolus and stuff on our side. Slaves of Paya. We will give them a better treatment. It'll decrease the time it takes to build this structure, though, but that's alright. Not too concerned. Material shortage in Ainos. The Argives, they want... Uh, the Argives want an alliance. I'm going to go decline that. <clears throat> Imperial relations and Pifiolus and 
Moessine. Yep. I can make all these guys tributaries. I don't want this to be tributaries anymore, but I could make this into tributaries. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. For now, I think we'll we'll have the front up here. We'll we'll keep it stable. I think. Yeah. I have three missionaries. Wow, that's a lot. Coming over to the priests, can I grab... Yeah, can I get a court priest, please? This guy decreases national unrest, and he gives you missionary strength. That's good. Cores are finishing up now. Apparently, we can recruit auxiliary troops from the Illyrians. We can enslave some. We can raise taxes. We can increase their autonomy. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Very old guy, we can grant privileges. What's our absolutism right now? Zero. Okay. These advisors are expensive. The army is expensive too. We have a massive fleet though. Interesting, we have a first fleet over here. Hmm. So we have 25 light ships, 15 galleys, and 8 transports. Wow, dude. Nice. Let's go protect trade. Where can we do that? And Debontis Exionis gives me the most money. Cool. We need to take over Byzantium. Although that would mean going to war with the Persians because he's warned us. Unless the warning goes away, which which is possible. Offensive ideas. Land morale, military tactics, infantry fire. How are we doing on technology in comparison to the rest of the world? We're doing pretty damn good. Persia's got pretty decent. Yeah, they're actually not bad. Hmm. Got a question in the Twitch chat. How long does it take to integrate tributaries? Well, you can't integrate tributaries. You have to make them into vassals. And that takes time. That takes a little bit of time. We can finally annex and Pifiolus. So let's go and do it. It's going to piss off my other vassals, but that's alright. We have a... Let's see. Splendor event for the Classical Period. Holy shit! Look at that! Rise of Macedon gets a spe special ability during the Classical Period. Shock damage plus 15%. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Incredible. Oh, wow. That's, that's not bad. I mean, the Hellenistic Period is going to come around any minute now. So... Sure, why don't we take the shock damage? Maybe we can use that against the uh, the Greeks. Hmm. Yeah, we should definitely make Odrissia into a state. Odrissia. And Thracia Occidentalis. We should make that into a state as well. Who wants land? The Periwakai? Let's give them some stuff. Oh, culture good must be Hellenic. Curious.
Yeah, for some reason we keep we keep getting this event to have the early army reforms. I I think honestly the death of Philip II so early in the campaign may have messed messed with the game a little bit. I think that's what I'm starting to think is what happened. How many forts are we? We only have one fortress, huh? Pay ya. Interesting. And then all the tributaries give me money, basically, right? Dude, Parenthos gives me 10 ducats a year. Jesus. Oh, cool. I can enforce my culture on uh, Thomas Vassals. Cool. Athena is still a rival. Let's make sure we're a rival to him. Once Epiphiolus has been annexed, we will declare war on Thessaly. We will invade it all. Cool. One of our advisors has died, which is unfortunate. Ooh. Ionius the Wise. Trade efficiency, global trade power. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Materi ROI. These guys are the uh, aristocrats. Let's give them some stuff. What what bonuses do they give me? Local taxes. Okay. Sounds good. That's our food. Holy damn. We make quite a bit of food, don't we? Nice. Uh, Thasis is independent. That's pretty cool. So it looks like the Athenian Empire has basically been destroyed. They have no allies. They have no vassals. Good to know. And then, uh, looks like Empiphilus is about to be annexed. Dope. Get rid of the cavalry. We'll keep skirmishers. We'll keep a couple of uh, of the infantry. Macedonian army reforms. After taking control of the gold-rich mines of Mount Pangaeus in the city of Amphipolis that dominated the region, Philip II obtained the wealth to support a large army. Moreover, it was a professional army imbued with a national spirit. Consisted of drilled infantry, foot companions, supported by Thracians and other mercenaries, the companion cavalry, the army could conquer the world. Holy balls! Macedonia against Macedonian army reforms until December 14 or 475. That's 50 years of army reforms. Morale of armies, land force limit, yearly armor tradition, discipline, leaders without upkeep, income from vassals, vassal force limit contribution. 200 ducats, 100 military power, 13,000 manpower, 10 armor tradition, 10 prestige. Oh my god. Mighty, almighty oh god. This is a large force. This is a large military. Macedon Strong. Oh, dude, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at this shit. Look at this! Look at it! It's beautiful! Oh, this guy's our tributary? Oh, okay. Hell, maybe we should make some more tributaries then. Persia would allow me to become their tributary. <laughs> I mean, shit, if that guy's a tributary, why not tributary the rest of these guys? You know? Let's make this guy an autonomous vassal, and then let's take away his autonomy, and then perhaps we can annex him as well. I 
I think we are ready for our invasion of Thessaly. We will invade this guy first, and we will co-belligerent the, the Thessalians. So this is uh, Perhabia, and this is uh, Thessaliotis. Cool. Noble families have a dispute, we will help them. <clears throat> I got a question in the Twitch chat. Are the Spartans a thing? Hell yeah, they are. <laughs> Kid of Sparta is pretty scary. Laconian traditions, morale of armies, 15%, yearly corruption, infantry combat ability, yearly armor tradition, yearly legitimacy. Holy shit. And what, the, what was their ideas? Imperial government ideas, infantry ideas, and influence. Yeah, that's pretty terrifying, dude. Those Spartans are gonna be a bitch. Okay, so I think we are strong enough to perhaps consider this invasion of Greece. Let's get rid of the Greeks. You know, we still have a lot to conquer. Thessaliotis, Larissa, those guys will be first. And then the rest of these guys, we're just going to keep pushing on. Anybody who will not be a tributary will need to be conquered. And then after that, once we have the whole of Greece under our command, the invasion of Persia will begin. The Hellenistic period has arrived. The Hellenistic period covers a period of history between the death of Alexander the Great and the emergence of the Roman Empire as signified by the Battle of Actium at 31 BC. Enables absolutism mechanics. Uh, Persia's in a golden era, apparently. <clears throat> so we can make Caonia non-autonomous and then we will annex him. Our army veteran has died. Let's go for that siege ability there. We can now annex this guy here. Caonia, we can annex. So let's let's annex him. Let's take over to this area here. Basically, we're taking over most of Epirus at that point. It should not take too long. We can also embrace the uh, classical philosophy institution. Let's do that so our, so our tech is cheaper. Okay, so yeah, you cannot you cannot develop, I don't think, in this mod. I don't think it's possible. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm kind of falling behind in Diplo, to be honest. Going next to Tribali. Well, let's let's probably try to get Tribali into uh, into a vassal, <clears throat> so we can annex him eventually. Our steward reports we've lost the effects of twenty five percent of slaves to state development. Okay. Cool. We're about to be done with this imperial palace, which will give us yearly absolutism, which is pretty nice. Dude, we're losing a lot of money. Shit. Why? Hmm. I mean, our army is pretty big. That would explain quite a bit. I got a question in the Twitch chat. Is Alexander still alive? Yes, he is only right now. He's only 28 years old. I believe he historically died in 323 BC. I believe he was 30? I wonder if there's an event to, to kill him off. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a quick break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.
Yeah. 